all right guys so now let's see the next scenario okay so again I'm going to create a method over here let's say m1 and in this m1 method is accept an int uh, array as an argument and let's say it system dot out dot println and um, let's say int let's say int array param of m1 method right and let's say we have another method here void m1 again and in this m1 method and in this m1 method this is accepting a double array i mean a double i mean it's text a argument as fedarx type let's say double d and let me copy this statement here and paste it right over here and let's say it um double fedarx Arc param of m1 method all right so now let's say in my main method i want to call this particular method first of all i need to create the object so now if i'll call the m1 method by passing some int value as a argument what it is going to what will be the output in this particular case all right okay so before you guess the output let me tell you one thing don't think too much okay this is really simple okay so think about everything that i told you in the first tutorial okay okay so what's your guess which method is going to be executed is it this method int array param of m1 method or this method uh, double verax param of m1 method so i'm passing 10 over here you might be thinking well there is an exact match here so this particular method will be get executed isn't it so let's execute this particular program and let's check out the result all right so now let me compile this particular program let's say java c firecase dot java and the next thing is java firecase because i want to run this particular program well if you see the output here right now the output is double par args param of m1 right that means this particular method got executed isn't it so let me expand it for a bit okay so right now this method got executed now why is that why not this particular method got executed this is really simple guys we already uh, discussed about it in the first tutorial we cannot pass elements to an array directly so this particular method accept an int array as an argument but to execute this particular method I must create an object of an array and then I need to pass that array object into this particular method right so we have already discussed about it in the first tutorial we cannot pass in elements like to a method which takes an integer array we need to create the object of an array then only we can pass that to execute this kind of method but wait we are passing elements directly first of all this particular thing gets rejected because of this okay so right now we are passing in type of value so right now we do not have a method which can handle this particular request from mine right so right now there is no exact match but wait there is a uh, verarx method available over here but it takes double as an uh, uh, argument right double array or uh, double verax types as an argument so uh, this 10 can be promoted to the next level this 10 is an integer this 10 can be stored inside the double right i mean the you know, integer can be stored inside the double right so implicitly JVM is going to promote this and going to store this in this particular um, uh, double array or double verax type method right so this is another question which is not really tricky but well this is confusing if you just you know sing it for the first time all right so now let's go for the next question